We're living in the era of the violent do-gooder, Billy. And all they're going to do is say that he's a Klansman. And by the way, to all the experts out there on Klansmen, it's Ku Klux Klan, not Ku Klux Klan, all right? I did a little research. I know you're an expert on it. You're not even pronouncing it right, for God's sakes. You know, if Trump wanted to get everybody off his back tomorrow as far as being violent, he had to convert to Islam. Because it would appear to be nobody can say anything when it's violent over on that end of it. But if Trump says something, he's Hitler. The country has gone mad. And when Paul Ryan announced today that he's, well, in essence, that to me was Paul Ryan jumping into the race. Can I tell you something, Paul? You seem like a nice enough kid, but you know why people are pissed off? It's the GOP is now Chipotle. You were making your own customers sick. That's why they're pissed <laughs> off. What do you, when you say you think Ryan's going to run or he's, he's offering himself up as a candidate? He'll be the lucky recipient of, uh, if they broker that yeah, convention you think so, and huh? Romney. You know, and by the way, I thought I knew Mitt. I don't know Mitt. No. I, 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 I'm not trying to say we're friends, but man, I, I'm embarrassed for him and what he's done. Why? Listen, he had his chance. I, I like what Bush did, Bush 43. When he's done, he goes away yeah. and he shuts up. Listen, Mitt uh, is a nice man. He ran a bad race. He ought to let this thing go forward, see who has the most votes, and let them be the president. There's a million miles to go. For him to get involved to this, to this extent, this early, I just want to say, boy, I don't remember you being this activated when you ran. No, that's true. He's got more spunk now. Um, what about... In your journeys around the country, do you think most Americans know what they're talking about when it comes to politics? Do they pay attention? What do you think, Billy? No. I think people either overthink their politics or underthink their politics. But if you really put a, if you can really put an accurate scope on it politically, I heard a woman when I was coming over here today talking about waterboarding people, and somebody asked her, I won't say her name, I've seen her on this network, if your children were kidnapped and they caught one of the kidnappers, would you waterboard him to get the information on the other kids? And she said no. Now, do you think we're overthinking things politically when political correctness supersedes the primacy of being a mother, for God's sakes, we've way overthought this. I don't even think I'm apathetic anymore. I feel that I'm appropriately disengaged in a country that appears to have gone mad. I feel like I'm living as an expatriate in another country that used to be my own country. And I think a lot of people are thinking that right now. But you follow, you know what's happening. You, you follow the news, you watch the news. Um, I'm talking about the people who, like Waters catches up with, who have no blank an idea. And I'm just wondering how big well, their let me, numbers are. Let me tell are. you this about the, as you said, the people that Waters catches up with, he does not have to shift into fifth gear to catch up with them. No, Let's put it that way. Okay? As they say in that zombie show, they're walkers. See, I think the well, zombie thing has, has now almost, they're not physical zombies they're mental zombies now they, they well just... listen billy you know i saw an episode last week and they got one of the zombies and they said would you water sort board somebody a couple days out to preclude another <laughs> brussels and they said no, no. i wouldn't